The BBC was under huge pressure to reveal that Hugh Edwards was the presenter facing media allegations last week, according to its acting chairwoman, Dame Elan Kloss Stevens. The Sun story about an unnamed presenter who had allegedly paid a teenager for explicit photos sparked a media storm. The BBC board held two emergency meetings in the next two days, stating that they had a duty to act with some calm and rationality in the face of lack of rationality and lack of calm. The claims began when the Sun newspaper reported that a mother had accused the News at 10 presenter of paying their teenage child tens of thousands of pounds for sexually explicit photos, which they said the young person spent on drugs. There were an awful lot of questions that could not be answered, and Dame Elan told a House of Lords committee on Tuesday. There was a huge pressure to disclose the name of somebody to whom we had a duty of care and a duty of privacy, in addition to the family and young person concerned in this maelstrom. There was a huge pressure to disclose the name of somebody to whom we had a duty of care and a duty of privacy, in addition to the family and young that were concerned in this maelstrom. Director General Tim Davy said the BBC was carrying out a fact-finding investigation. And that Edward's wife Vicky Flynn disclosed on Wednesday that he was the presenter at the center of the allegations. She also revealed he was in hospital after the situation had brought on a serious mental health episode and said he would address the allegations when he is well enough to do so. Following the Sun's original reports, the young person later denied the claims through their lawyer and police said they found no evidence of criminal activity. Meanwhile, other people came forward with claims of inappropriate behavior. The BBC has now resumed its own internal investigation. Director General Tim Davy told the House of Lords Communications and Digital Committee that the BBC had tried to balance difficult concerns around the allegations themselves, duty of care, privacy, and legitimate public interest. He also said BBC executives had been in touch with the complainant since the allegations were first reported.